thesmartlocal.com Well, what kind of... <laughs> this is black and white. Oh, okay, I'm just playing. I see, I'm just playing. everyone, I'm Xenia. Welcome back to another episode of Hired or Fired. Today, I'm here at the social service office at Taman Jurong and I'm going to be a comlink engagement officer for a day. I've never heard of the job title before but I do know about social service. Last time in uni, I took a mod. It's called social work and that's the only mod I scored A. I think it's similar. Let's go. My name is Wari. I'm the team leader of the regional services team at Social Service Office Boon Lay in Tamandrum. I've been working here for about four years now. I currently train the new Comlink engagement officers in our team. So Comlink is a nationwide initiative uh, that was implemented to provide greater support to families of young children residing in public rental housing. So we help them achieve stability, self-reliance, as well as social mobility. We go out, engage families, find out what are their hopes, wishes, more importantly, their needs. We then work together with partners to help families with more complex needs. And we also um, work together with community agencies to help bring together services and, and programs as well and curate them to meet the needs of our town. Hi, I'm Xenia. Hi Xenia, I'm Wari. I'm going to be a mentor for today. Nice. What will I be doing today? So you're going to be completing three tasks. Number one, you're going to be conducting a needs assessment survey. Number two, you're going to be coming up with an action plan for a case conference. And number three, you're going to be volunteering for a comlink program. Okay, I feel like I can do it because there are some terms, right, that I've learned before in school. But okay, don't get your expectation too high, okay? Oh, it's okay, don't worry. And actually, I know I have before. Setting the benchmark really low, it's okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, Senior, are you ready for your first task? Yes, but I don't really know what it is. The needs assessment survey typically takes around 35 minutes to 45 minutes. And basically what we're doing is that we're having a, a chit-chat with the family to kind of understand and suss out what are their needs, their hopes and their aspirations as well. And also mm. assess if they require further support from agencies. We try and do this face-to-face uh, -face as far as possible. We want to be able to read off certain visual cues or even verbal cues. So Ooh. for example, yeah, if you notice that the family eyes are darting everywhere else. Scared, that it. Correct, yeah. Oh. Looking at everywhere else but you, they're going to be asked a range of questions covering asking them about their employment situation, mm. about their financial situation, mm. how many kids they have, mm. how many people are staying in their household, about their health issues. <laughs> so are you ready? Always ready. Let's go. Go. So hi Xenia, we are here at one of the rental blocks in Boon Lay and we're going to be trying out the needs assessment survey with one of the families staying here. Her name is Madam Salima. Let's meet Madam Salima. Hi Madam Salima, I'm Xenia. I'm the Comlink Engagement Officer for today. So what Xenia is doing here today is that she's basically asking questions to better understand uh, what your situation is like right now. So it should be quite easy. It so depends on what your question is. Huh? Uh, very simple. Is, uh, for example, now are you working? Okay, no, I'm not working. Okay. I'm housewife. Do you have children? Yes, I have four children. Okay. When, when do you move in here? 2014. Oh, 2014. Yes. So is everything okay? Like around here? If you want to say okay, you are beginning to be lying. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. This is how life lies. At least you got a shelter rather than you don't have, right? So, mm. What other support do you think you need right now that maybe we can help? Yeah, with my bills, the financial side of things. Side of thing, yeah. Mm. Yeah, you can right. tell or not, this one my first day. Ah, is it oh, this day? is your first day, that's good. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so we are done and I realised it is not as simple as just asking questions. Mm -hmm. So like when you ask, um, how is it, is it okay in relation to housing? Maybe you can ask questions like, um, okay, so I understand you've been living in the rental flat for this many years. Do you have any intention to eventually get a place of your own? And um, how has the journey been like so far? Even though you jumped around, yeah. um, it was very helpful for you to make sure that the conversation was a bit more fluid mm -hmm. and not very hang on. I just look at this question first. So okay. good job. Not too bad yeah. for a start. <laughs> so now let's move on to task two. 
Um, what we're going to be doing right now is to coordinate an action plan for a family with complex issues. They usually have a lot of different agencies working together with the family. Oh. So it's very important to kind of bring these agencies together to align ourselves on a common action plan. Okay, so we have a family of 10 uh, hmm. that's currently staying in a two-room rental flat. We have Mr. Adam, he's in his 30s. He's the sole breadwinner, doesn't really have stable employment. His wife, Madam Jane, is also in her 30s. Mm -hmm. She wants to work, but she also needs to take care of the young children. Wow. So during the needs assessment, we picked up that the family did not have a washing machine at home. We also noted that there were some hygiene issues. Eight children in this family, ranging all the way wow. from 14 to two months old. There are some that are also facing some issues, right? Right, you pointed out. So you notice those that are in primary school, all three of them are facing absenteeism issues. Huh, then this one, how to help if they don't want to go to school? Last time, I mother just take the cane like that. <laughs> in this case, I think that's where we kind of turn the question around on you, right? So you're going to be oh. coming up with an action plan for this family. We have something called the Social Assistance Assessment Framework. Oh. But basically, we use this tool to kind of structure and organise okay. how we pick out and identify <clears throat> the needs of the family. Um, the biggest obstacle they have to overcome right now as a family is for Mr. Adam to find a more stable job. It is written there that she needs to take care of the young children. That means she don't really have a lot of social support. Like she cannot just like give her babies to her sister and be like, hey, you help me take care, I go and work, you know? She definitely needs some support. Ah, the three children! Hygiene issues. Don't have washing machine. It's like a Venn diagram, you know, both like touch each other. I, I think finance. Since the shelter part, it's not that they don't have a house. Mm -hmm. Children. Mm -hmm. Miss a few days of school, never like, We come in first. Oh. <laughs> I think like that. <laughs> so you've more or less gotten the main categories right. But I would introduce one more category to the picture I here. I knew it! I see this one is a Venn diagram. We first looked at the children. So this one is number one. Number one, that's right. When the children's developmental needs are not met, that is already kind of like a red flag for us. We also want to look at the support for this family. Eight children is no joke. Uh, what the social worker did was to provide provide counselling to Madam Jean to help support her with her parenting stresses. Steady employment. We already see that, okay, this is affecting the family self-reliance. So what happened after focusing on employment is we looked at whether family required any other help with managing their day-to-day -day expenses. And last but not least, shelter. What we did was to um, link them up with HDB's home ownership support team. Mm. Basically a three-room resale flat, which is now actually where they're staying at. So they're no longer Ooh. staying in a rental flat. It's all about also trying to empower families to believe that they can do it. Yeah, which yeah. I think is the reason why I got the priorities wrong. For mm. me, is I just think of practical ways to help them. But then this way, we help them figure it out themselves. Exactly. Actually, not bad. I got one, two, three, four. Missing out just this. Mm. Honestly, Zinia, I think you did quite a good job. It's also good that you kind of try to put yourself in the family's shoes. Okay, Zinia, so we've come to the end of task two. We're going to be moving on to task three now. Alright Xenia, now that you've completed your first two tasks, you're down to your final task for today. Yes! So you're going to be facilitating a comlink program. Mm -hmm. In total, we have about 59 comlink programs across Singapore. 59? 59, that's right. Mm -hmm. So for today's challenge, you're going to be facilitating uh, an activity that's being run by Three Punkets. I'd like to introduce you to Shiyun. Shiyun is mm -hmm. basically the creative director of Three Punkets. Hi, I'm Xenia. Hello. So TDKC or Tata Good Kids Club is a space where we welcome all children. So they don't have to be from the rental flat, they could be also from the BTO nearby, so that we don't labour the kids. So our mm. space basically is like we, we promote better social connection through mm. playing, discovering the strength and we support their interests and strength. Uh -huh. So mainly what you have to do is play together, have conversations and just feel free. Okay. In fact, we always tell our volunteer don't teach but play. Oh, mm. well then it's a very easy task I guess. <laughs> So Zina, later on when you are playing with them, the task is to make a monster. Monster? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you just improvise and play along. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for instance, you could identify a technique that a child is using, then you can highlight that so that everybody else can try. 
Villain, Hani, and Sulaiman are in Zinia. Okay, so basically, with these two, we are going to make a monster. It can be anything. What, what kind of... <laughs> This is black and white. Oh, okay, I'm just playing. Yeah, Zinia, just playing. I'm okay. I'm going to learn from Sulaiman because this is so nice. Calm down. Yes, don't don't Five, destroy the monster, man. Four, three, two, one. Okay. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. But I haven't do the day. You're so nice already. Hello. Oh. <laughs> hey, y'all now listen to the rules and eh. she say time's up already. I'm struggling inside. I've always been very awkward with children. Nah. So do y'all ever feel awkward when you are around new people? Because sometimes I do and I don't know what to do. Yeah. If me right, there's a new person come to my class, I just do it. Just walk away. I honestly feel like this session I learn more from them than they learn anything from me. I constantly feel the need to help when maybe this session is really just accompanying them. Maybe at this stage of my life, I forget how it's like to just be curious. I think curiosity is something that they taught me today. Thank you so much guys. I had a lot of fun. I am very nervous to hear about my evaluation. Actually, it's quite common for first-timer to come to TTKC, right? Mm. And they don't know what to do. Oh, because right. there's nothing to do. Mm. Do you feel that way? Like, you, yeah, were, you, were, you were like hoping to teach them something. Yeah. So I feel that there was one point where actually you were very genuine, you were very vulnerable. You oh. actually shared with them that you don't know what to do. Yeah, and then really actually then the conversation happened. Yeah. So that is almost something like a breaking point uh, where right. friendship really happens. Sometimes I realize I'm someone who is very quick to help and I just want to solve problems. But today I realized that maybe that's not the best way to help. The best way to help might just be empower them to solve their own problems. And it was very enriching on its own. So I hope I get hired. Then maybe next time I level up, you know. Talk to kids, no problem. Talk to old people, no problem. So Xenia, how was your day today? It was good. I think very insightful because when you were explaining the task to me, right? It seemed very like anybody also can do it. Yeah, yeah but it wasn't love. So oh, right. you came in completely new. You've gone through several different stages of what a Comlink engagement officer would be doing mm. all in one day. So now, please take your paper. Will you hire or fire me? Three, two, one. Does that always happen? <laughs> <laughs> I said hired as a volunteer, fired as a full-timer. You embody a lot of the qualities that we would like to see in a common engagement officer. Demonstrating empathy, also having the soft skills to have a conversation that's very natural. The role of a common engagement officer kind of far extends beyond the task we Exactly, today. what we've done today. But to start as a volunteer, it's not bad too. <laughs> then maybe you should consider joining us as a volunteer then. Mm. If you've been watching me up to this point, that means aha! you're a little bit interested. So good news for you, the CEOs are actually looking for volunteers to join them in organizing Comlink programs or journeying with the families. So to find out more, check out this link. Thank you for watching this episode of Hired or Fired. If you like this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, ring our notification bell and watch our other videos over there. And I'll see you next time. Bye!